Welcome to the Wonder League Robotics Competition. We are thrilled to be here with you announcing this year's top teams and winners. My name is Brian. My name is Tim. And we are the lucky ones getting to speak on behalf of all of our colleagues here at Wonder Workshop. Despite having a year with many difficult challenges, the Wonder Leaguers prove that nothing can stand in their way once they set their minds to accomplish something. This year was rough with school closures, distance team meetings, broken robots, endless testing and prototyping, but you all did it. You stuck with it, you gave it your all, and you showed us what it takes to see something through until the end. Take a moment to reflect on all that you did, all that your team did, and all the amazing memories that you will take from this experience. Now take a moment to recall all the support that your coaches, your parents, and your communities offered throughout this journey as well. On behalf of all of us here at Wonder Workshop, we would like to thank our Wonder League coaches. We know how much time and effort this all takes. So seriously, thank you. Thanks for believing in your teams and for letting us be on this learning journey with you all. We had so many teams that stood out and went far and beyond what was required on their mission for the WLRC title. Judging is always the hardest and most rewarding part of our jobs at Wonder Workshop. Believe us when we say we have to get super duper picky uh, in determining our top teens uh, and even more so in choosing the winners. But we live for these moments. We get inspired by the, the incredible and innovative ways uh, that these kids approach and solve their missions. You all continue to blow us away with your thinking, your collaboration, your creativity, and most of all, your compassion. That compassion that, that, that comes to your community and the well-being of creatures big and small, it really showed this year. It was only after some long days and some sleepless nights that we were finally able to determine the top teams across all three of the age groups and crown this year's winners. We cannot tell you how impressed we were with all the contestants' work. Before we get to the good stuff, let's take a peek at what you accomplished with this quick video recap. Hey, Gray. Hi, Kelsey. You know, in our local community, our beaches have lots of traffic. I agree. It's so harmful to all the wildlife here. I think we should go make some tools that would help the creatures on the beach and in the ocean. Hi, I'm Jackson Longzack, and welcome to Craig of the Creek News. Dash saves the turtles and helps the environment. We are Tim Boiler! And today I'm going to show you the um, code for Dash. I hope you like it. Started when we disassembled the dam piece by piece. the gripper system with a flashlight first. When everything was working, we tested it with Dash. Put on a counterweight made from Lego tires. This made Q's head weight more equal. We observed Q and we found that when he didn't have the counterweight on him, his head looked too heavy and it wouldn't go up as much as we wanted. We had a lot of fun in this mission. It took a lot of perseverance and hard work, but we definitely pulled through. Yay! Yeah! Woo! Learned that hard work is the key to success. We can 
all take this by example and try to do more for our environment too. There is only one Earth. We need to protect it. And this is Dash. He did it all. Recycle Earth! Earth. Dash to the rescue. Bye! Bye! Bye. Pretty amazing, right Tim? Unreal. What all these teams do, Brian, it's unreal. Okay, let's get started. We are going to start with the six to eight age bracket. And in no particular order, we will name the top teams and then this year's Wonder League winner. So here's the teams in no particular order. Team Cool Dude Twins, a twin duo from right here in the U.S., a single member team from Santa Fe, New Mexico, Team Turtle Wrangler. An all boys team, Team Enderman Ninjas from the US. A boy and girl duo, Team Robotic Panthers from the United States. And finally, a girls duo team from Long Beach, California, Team Nature Spices. Congratulations to those folks. And now the winner for this year's Wonder League six to eight year old age bracket. And this was a tight one, folks. The team Robotic Panthers. Congratulations. This team pulled out all the stops for this year's final mission. They articulated their every move and thought uh, process to ensure that we could follow along through their presentation and logbooks. It was a great example of design thinking of the design thinking process in action. They came up with an effective and creative attachment that utilized the pulley system to get the job done. The team shared with us a fun and engaging story and made sure they didn't leave anything, let anything go to waste with their community tools. This team will be one to watch in the upcoming seasons for sure. Again, congratulations, Team Robotic Panthers. Impressive teamwork. Nice work. Now, next up is the 9 through 11 age bracket. Again, in no particular order, we will name the top teams and then this year's Wonder League winner. So first, a boy and girl team duo, Team Curiosity from Taiwan. Next, Team Just Add Logic, an all girls team representing the United States. An all girls team from here in the US, Team Robotics Girls. Also Team Shooting Stars, another all girls team from India, and then a team, the team Black Hole, an all boys team from Germany. <laughs> the girls definitely uh, uh, dominated the bracket in this particular age category, didn't they, Brian? They sure did, Tim. Okay, here we go. And the winner for this year's Wonder League 9 through 11 age bracket is Team Just Add Logic. Congratulations. These girls knocked it out of the park, but had some fierce competition. This team shared their journey with us in a way that made us all feel like we were right there with them. Their code was on point, it was robust and elegant, and their attachment design got the job done in a very accurate and efficient manner. They were so meticulous in their thinking that even the letters were facing the exact same way. They paid super close attention to detail and their presentation and storyline was informative, well thought through and creative. Their community tool, a water filtering system even worked. Everything was really well done. I would keep my eye on these girls. They along with so many other teams have a very bright future in the STEAM world. Yeah, congrats. So now, Last but not least, the 12 through 14 age bracket. The top teams in no particular order are Team Triforce, an all boys team from Colorado. Team Canadian Coders, a team of one from up north in Brampton, Canada. Team Fast and Curious, an all girls team from St. Augustine, Florida. An all girls team Team Clay Maniacs 2.0 from the U.S. And Team The Wonder Girls, an all-girls team from Bulgaria. 
All right, drum roll, please, because this was a close, close call. We were doing this one till the last minute. So the Wonder League champions for the 12 to 14 year old age bracket is Team Triforce. Congratulations. Team Triforce not only nailed it with their unique attachment design, but their coding was clean, precise, and very efficient. But they had a very well organized, robust, and easy to follow logbook. These boys didn't miss a thing, kept us in the loop every step of the way. Even the materials they used in their attachment were repurposed materials staying true to the overall theme and mission. These boys have some mean metalworking skills. They wowed us with their set design and attention to detail. For their tool, they, they looked to their local community to determine what was needed to ensure that the water source would stay clean and healthy. You may recognize some of these faces. Each of these team members have competed before but never have been named the winners. Please, please help us congratulating Team Triforce as this year's 12 to 14 year old winners. Congratulations. Well, Tim, year six is a wrap. What a year. Again, <laughs> thanks for all your hard work and participation in this year's Wonder League. We look forward to seeing what next year holds and hope to see many of you back here again. Don't forget, we will be announcing our honorable mention awards next week. Oh yeah, you got to stay tuned for that. Those are always a lot of fun to see. So thank you everyone, coaches, participants, kids out there and everyone watching. And we'll see y'all next year.